welcome back to another video guys in this video i am going to go through the all new s800 king bolan and again king bolan k7 one can do coding programming one doesn't one cheaper than the other there are certain reasons we are going to go through them both i'm going to do a comparison between them both so you can both well so you can understand uh, both products and know which one to go for it depends what you want to spend again they're not expensive comparing honestly these two tools are not expensive now comparing this to other manufacturers such as launch x2 hotel especially is hotels good there is no questions uh, but it is well overpriced well well overpriced uh, now if you're going to compare this lovely k7 you're looking at similar ones what hotel sell for similar ones to this you'd be looking around 1200 quid okay so, the price on this one is around 330 quid depends on the offer sometimes 350 300 depends what offer they have on really but let's just call it 330 for the sake of this you can see the price difference where is 330 at and where is 1200 1100 even a grand for example let's say you got a good deal by hotel where is a grand and where's 300 quid you know it's a big massive difference so you've got to think i've used hotel for years yes it's a lovely product i can't fault it in, in in no way obviously it's good product and this is does the exact same as what hotel does but for like nearly a fraction or half the price i mean moving across this is equivalent to your hotel uh mk808 you know, the, the basic models the very very basic model of hotel um basic model of hotel is about 500 quid of best deal you're gonna get 430 450 this about 160 quidish 170 quidish depends you may even get a 150 depends on the offer like i said but remember where is 400 let's say the best offer you got was 400 where's 400 at and where is you know 160 150 at so you remember i'm not here to say look you know this is a very good company this is brilliant no i don't care what it is i'm going to be open and straight on and honest with you all it's a lovely product there is no questions for years and years i've been using hotel <clears throat> as you have seen in my previous videos but today i am going to go through these two products specifically so you know which one to get in my eyes it's a no-brainer to get the k7 because it codes and uh, programs uh does lots of different things anyway we'll start off so we'll pair this k7 to the bmw and then we'll pair this up to the mazda 3 um not end of the world i know the two different cars it doesn't matter we're going to see what it offers okay yeah, both connected up so that one as we've said is connected to the uh bmw 5 series this one's connected to the mazda 3 the mazda 3 is 2015 and the bm's 2012 some of you have already probably made the mind up and said oh that one comes with the cabling okay which is connected hardwire to the obd this is bluetooth um so it's wireless in that sense um that's one of the starters so we'll just um hit scan diagnosis we're both on at the same more or less similar time do you know what little annoying thing about this i hope they do come up with something obviously there's a difference between this and the k10 the k10 has a little thing that you hook over the steering wheel whereas this one doesn't but um it is what it is i mean in terms of handling it is nice and chunky good grip as well as you can see very good grip it's like um it's leathery type if that makes sense you can feel and um grabs nicely this one however is like plasticky it's not um 100 percent grippy it is slippy so if you if you are a mechanic it'll be um it's very, very slippy in that sense it's got chunk on both sides as you can see so you can grab hold of it it's good though i'm not gonna here you know be here and try and like demolish it in terms of say it's not the best it's good it does its job uh design's good still well that stays there so what we'll do next step would be to do an auto search so we will click auto search is where it kind of picks up the thing chassis okay So that one's picked you up quicker than this one. 
Um, so here we are. BMW, that one's stays chain still, and this one is as well. There we go. Ignition on. It is on, as we can see. <clears throat> there we go. So it's still having a little thing about it. It's a little bit behind, and there's a reason. So here we are. We're on Sorry, the I'm take off the steering. It's just a nightmare grabbing all the buffer from. Anyway, so auto surge, health report. Um, that goes through all the modules. And this one's still having a little wonder. So, so you see the difference already. So this one's gone into another page where it tells you the vehicle mileage, the make and the model you're working on, which is a good benefit to any mechanics out there, okay? They'll know the engine code and whatnot. <clears throat> so there you are, it tells you the mileage. This one just, boom. <laughs> It's your base again, obviously. It's uh, not end of the world, but as we can see. So if we were to get onto this page on here, we'd hit next. Okay. Well, I'm not in the BM for me to do these, but um, I'm hoping the ignition is still on, which I can see from here it is still on. So here we are. So this is the health report that we ended up on that one. Uh, clicking, so we'll do health report. It's going to do a full scan this way. Um, this one, uh, well, that one, sorry, eliminated all them steps as you saw on this one. So it's given us a lot of different options. Here we are. So the telephone, shut down due to, I mean, that's the only fault code. This one within the ABS, battery voltage, battery voltage, stop lamp, control, okay. So they do both, you know, obviously pick up fault codes. Um, if we were to go into the engine control module, which is a good start, uh, if you ask me. So on this one, it's power control module, PCM. Yeah, on this one, it's telling us this. That's probably German. I don't understand that language. Continue. You see, boom, boom. You see the difference? And then if we do, you can do read codes, clear fault code, <clears throat> read data stream, as you can see there. This one has freeze frame actuation test, so active test. So you can activate the EGR, uh, you can activ activate um, fan, That's electric fan. So this is the fan of the car. So if we activate it, <clears throat> so it's going to do it. Now let's listen to it. Sorry, I've just activated it now, my bad. Well, we will hear it in a second. So as we can see, this one has a lot of spec compared to our lovely S800. So if we hit stop, it stopped. Now this one, as you can see, does not have that option. So if you're in the mechanical world, I'm sure you've made up your mind already, but um, that is important. I have to say the uh, fan test, activating test, it's really important, especially if you're working on cars or even the the salvage world. So if you're working on salvage cars, um, it will have an impact. So when you come to repair the whole car, put the front end on, you want to be sure that the fan works. There are certain components on the car you want to check, throttle body, I don't know, some things you want to check and you want to activate it. Obviously, if it doesn't have that, then it'll be a bye-bye for that one in that sense. So, this is a win-win situation so far. <clears throat> so, come back out of this. Uh, we will do... See what this has. So, read data stream, read data stream. Diagnosis request. So, as you can see, it has all... It has a lot of different things you can do. This is like your live data, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm just flicking through it as a quick one. This one also has similar, which is good. A live data is very important. Remember, we said earlier, your hotel would be around about 400, 500 quid. Your snap on as well, if I'm going to compare, you're talking six, 700 quid again. 
egg uh, launch launch would probably be around about three four hundred quid similar to this maybe maybe a bit maybe 250 ish 250 to 350 i'd say similar to that but if we're talking launch snap on hotel you'd be looking at yeah we said hotel a grandish snap on maybe 800 900 again a grand not the not cheapest um launch uh you'd probably get away with a i don't know should we say 500 600 maybe less um depends on what the offers are but that you know you see the difference you'll see the difference <clears throat> so so far there there's some of the differences um between them both now there are various different things as well so the difference between so the k7 can do a full system diagnosis the s800 does not okay these are some of the bullet points i'm just going to go through so you can you, you can see what it's capable of the difference between them both the k7 <clears throat> so this one here comes with the fca auto auth login entrance the s800 does not k7 has um, ecu coding like we said earlier like you know vw bmw scotus cf and bi-directional control test capability whereas the s800 does not so don't forget guys in the mechanical world you do really need them things there is no questions um, unless you're using it for a car here and there and you just want to do a full scan and clear then yeah okay go for that one but um if you're quite high up in the game stay and keep on to this one um the k7 okay so the k7 has like 31 resets comes with like various special functions like reset relearns under diagnosis such as like um uh, for example crankshaft relearn um injectors uh start reset airbags and uh, the s800 has 15 resets so you see the difference um and it may not have some of the things that the k7 has which obviously it doesn't because that has 31 and that has um 15. the k7 can work with add-ons like your printer okay the tire pressure monitor sensors the s800 is box standard and does not come with any of that the k7 okay so this is one thing i forgot to um show you look at that Ta -da, camera so it's brilliant to have it's really good and handy the camera it comes with okay so let's pop this back where it were that one does not come with a camera as we've said and the camera on this is actually 13 megapixel so it's great the k7 has a better hardware than the s800 so that'll be a faster processor and whatnot and the k7 has a seven inch as we can see it's a big big screen compared to the other one uh it does um so the k7 is seven inch as we said and it's 1280 by 720 display resolution whereas the s800 is a five five inch with 480 by 854 display resolution now this is where it becomes a bit more besides the point of oh yeah this is better that codes that does this that does that another thing that's important is the battery capacity okay uh, some of you might be laughing, you know, there's only 30% in that, but yeah, I've not used it and it's been drained completely because the screen's been on, whereas that one's been fully, fully on charge. So are you ready for this one? So this one, the K7, has 6,000 mAh. The S800 has 1,500 mAh, so it's like nearly four times, five times the capacity. Obviously, it's a, it's a bigger screen, so it will use up quite a big energy, but um, end of the day, better battery function in terms of memory so the memory for the k7 has 2 gig uh, plus a 32 gig if you want to insert the s800 has also a 2 gig and you can insert a 16 gig so there the difference so far and in terms of processor <clears throat> so process is very important when it comes to speed <coughs> and these sort of things so the processor on the K7 is a 4-core 1.8 GHz CPU processor. The S800 is also a 4-core but a 1.3 GHz CPU processor. So it, there is a difference and that, that says the speed as well. Now in terms of operating system, so this is like your Android. So the K7, <clears throat> this one here, has a, is, is an Android 10 the S800 is an Android 6, okay? 
Um, tablet size in terms of <clears throat> the, the length and width and whatnot. So it's 236 by 150, 45, which is not bad in terms of whole size length. Pretty damn good. <clears throat> and that, that that's 236 mil millimeter. So it's 23 centimeters, 23.6 centimeter by 150 by 15 centimeter, and 4.5 centimeter in terms of depth. <clears throat> Quite a lot with. But the S800 is. 22.3 centimeters 13.4 centimeters uh, so you've got length width and then you've got uh, the depth 4.3 so <clears throat> so far we know all this the most important question we have to ask ourselves as well is um, what what benefits do we get in terms of warranty okay so both of which, both of which, the K7 and the S800, both of which come with a one-year warranty, which is a brilliant piece of kit. So, you know, as a mechanic, honestly, you're going to be using this day in, day out. So, but because they've got a year, I mean, it says it all. It's well built. It's tough and durable. I mean, I have to say it's rigid, solid, pretty damn well built. And that is a solid plastic around it. And same again. But yeah, so <coughs> like we said, it does the coding and programming. Um, so special functions, I don't know. The thing is as well, you've got buttons that you can use. So if this screen does mess up in any way, you've got the buttons to use. So if we come back out of this, there's nothing like... Let's go back onto its auto search. There's nothing like the special functions on this. So the special functions, remember guys, are like where you are. Open and close radiator blind, check engine, the fueling system. So the injectors maybe, I don't know, it's going to go through it all. Bleed fuel system. As you can see, there's all that and that one doesn't have it. So remember. Yes. Yes, expert mode. So, okay. So measurement while driving is gonna tell you the, the whole record of the car basically, how things are functioning. I'm not interested in that as of yet. And let's go back. Okay, what else does it offer? Reset correction of value in inject injectors. So let's just say we can code injectors. That's what that means. Um, the idle speed. Okay. Fuel system bleeding. EWS adjustment. Injection quantity. That's where you can code it in. Idle speed. The torque. Consumption. Reset adaption. So you like. Yeah. DPF and the O2 sensors and whatnot. So you can reset all them. The math. Um, oh, here we are. So exhaust. Fuel system. Air mass. So these are the things you can do, whereas you can't do it with that one. You see, you're already in a win-win situation. Honestly, don't be tight. That's the first thing I will tell you. When you are, you will pay double the price sometimes and think, oh, I should have just got that. Well, too late. So think before you purchase anything. Diesel particular filter regen. Um, reset the production mode. Oh, okay, mate. There, there, is, there is tons of load of things. MSA. MSA, service function, transmission, relearn, reset, start a lock, smooth running of engine. Do you know what? It, there is a lot of things in this. And obviously you're coding and programming. Um, which I highly recommend backing up first. Let's back it up anyway, just to show you the next step. So I'll hit next. do a system wide backup uh, I've always said in the past put the date in I'm just going to put 11 11 0 9 20 4 that's just the date ok yes so remember there's a lot of options you get with the K7 
Where is he not with that one? System selection is you go into different components within the engine. Um, system scan is just going to be another way of scanning. So it's coded more or less everything in. Oh, sorry, um, backed up everything that we need. Uh, come back out of this. Uh, let's go into personalization. Okay, he's telling us the ins and outs. This is what I love about coding, guys. I like it. And remember one thing as well. If you want to really dig into, let's just say, you know, have everything what a BMW software can do, then go get the BMW software. Because there is no diagnostic machine whatsoever on this planet that will have every single program system that the manufacturer has. So... I don't know, even VAG cars, Audi, CS, Code, VW, you're not going to get the same uh, softwares in these if that's what you need. You can't, it's impossible. So you have to get the manufactured software. Whereas these, uh, this sort of diagnostic machine like King Boland has everything, every manufacturer um, thing built into it. But remember, you're only going to get 60, 70 or 80% sometimes of what manufacturer's software has. But it's an overall good diagnostic machine because it's the same with hotel launch snap on whatever uh okay so yes guys so there were the differences between them all um i'm not going to go into coding so much but um as you can see there is a lot of things uh that is built into the k7 and not the s800 but i will pop pop the um when I say links, I'll, I mean the links to the products down below, so you can have all, you know, you can look at it yourselves and decide as to what's best. And if there are any questions or comments, um, just pop it down below in the comment section, or you can even privately, well, private message me uh, on uh, Facebook. I have a Facebook page. <coughs> on that way, you can ask me any questions. I will try my best to get back to you all. Uh, as you may appreciate, we get a lot of questions asked every day. So we'll try and keep on top of it. But yeah, there you go, Bal. Well, that's for, for you both anyway. That's both products. Um, hopefully, I've answered all the questions. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for listening. Now, the most important question here is the updates. So the S800, the King Boland S800 on the left here has lifetime free update, which is not required you don't require paying anything yearly there's no fee at all so it's lifetime the one on the right which is king bowling k7 um has three year free updates so when you get it from the point go you um you know register it it has three years free updates now remember three years is a hell long time i am not going to lie and then after that uh if you want to you know update it it comes at a cost of 99 dollars so 99 dollars again think about it it is absolutely nothing i mean remember the kit is already <laughs> pretty damn cheap compared to the others out there um and then again um so if you were to compare this to the other manufacturers let's say hotel again your most basic hotel was 400 quid ish we said um it would roughly be 150 200 quid update per year so you see the difference but yeah that's it guys any questions pop it down below or facebook